Manhattan as EA Sports brings you to MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Kansas City Chiefs and the New York Giants. Time Panther Graham Gano has his set for his start as we are underway from MetLife Stadium. Nicole Hardman to return it from his end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. the outset here's Mahomes they'll find Juju Smith-Schuster the game's first play produces six yards brings up second down they kept the receiver in the short field but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react second and four Mahomes gonna throw Giant rush gets home as down he goes. Kayvon Thibodeau, he beat the old line and recorded the sack. Well, we were wondering what they would do defensively to disrupt Patrick Mahomes. Sacking him on the first drive, that's a really good way to set a tone. The last thing you want to do is let him get established in the pocket where he can set his feet and throw wherever he wants to. Even though he does it well on the run and on the move, you definitely want to get him off the spot in the pocket. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Able to convert on third and 14, a terrific play call. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and ten at the 49-yard line. Here's Mahomes to throw. A dump down to McKinnon. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, four four, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. Like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master Surgeon at work. Now it's Mahomes again. Buying time to his left. He finds McKinnon complete. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Well, we know he can run the football too, but he's a good pass catcher. And that's been on display here, Charles, on this opening drive. And we certainly have seen the benefits of what he did in the offseason, which was spend more time with wide receivers, working on routes, working on cuts, in order to make himself a more complete running back and even more of a threat downfield. And this is caught at the eight. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the seven. Looking to throw is Mahomes. The quick slant caught. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. In both locker rooms, the coaches talked about setting the tone early. Didn't matter whether you start on offense or defense. In this case, the team that had the ball first did exactly that. Took it right downfield and scored. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it's now a 7-0 game.
Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fielded right around the eight. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 23. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. They'll go to Barkley again. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Four yards the pick up, first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A first down carry for Barkley. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. It'll be a nine-yard gain that time, and it'll also be the final play of this first quarter. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Now the Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breida. Four yards the pick up, first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. They'll try to right side here, Barkley. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. Up the middle with Barkley. And he's got it down to the 28. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Second down, here's Barkley again. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs 22. 44 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Just a gain of a couple, but good enough to keep the drive rolling. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Again, it's Barkley. 
Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Barkley inside handoff. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley, 15 yards. And the Giants are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point try good by Gano. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. And a, there he goes, left side, 20. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Jarek McKinnon, 76 yards. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Butker now to add the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. A handoff to Barkley. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Flushed out right. And Jones will hit the deck here, and he is able to pick up the first down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Throwing Jones. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Now Jones. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 13 yards, good for a giant first down. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. 
Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Gano's kick is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation. He's got a man complete. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. The defense, they weren't fooled on that post route. They just couldn't make the play. And the offense definitely tried to fool them because you saw the other route combinations, didn't you? Anything that they were running trying to draw attention away from the deep part of the field, but still had it covered, yet they were able to come up with a nice play. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. That was perfect. From distance, he steps up, knocks it right down Main Street. Yeah, Main Street's celebrating right now with him, aren't they? I love the mechanics of the whole thing. Snap, hold, everything was right on target, and the blocking was perfect, and he executed so, so well. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. And we will not see a return to start the half, as this will be a touchback. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. So Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. Here's a give to Barkley. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected it. it was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. From the 38, Jones. Bellinger hauls it in out left side. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll send a receiver in motion left. On first down, here's Breda. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. After the pickup of 5, here's second and 5. Now Saquon Barkley. 92 yards rushing now for Barkley. It's a first down. And the flashy plays, splashy plays, as people like to call them, that attracts a lot of attention. But let's face it, when you're efficient, that can control a ball game. And I love the game plan they've got going right now. Back-to-back -back five yard gains. Didn't force the ball downfield, picked it up on the ground. Yeah, offensive line, they're getting it done. 
They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Saquon Barkley, his second touchdown of the night. And the Giants are an extra point away from drawing level. Gano the extra point, and that will level the playing field at 17 all. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. After that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And Brandon, this drive is all about one word to me, and that's the word answer, because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in tying the game, because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves, they'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half, keeping them in the driver's seat. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. pass on that last play and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down throwing now is Mahomes and that's going to be incomplete the coverage too good there the contact popped the ball free and it's fourth down to give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit. A lot of people making plays behind him in the field. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. On the return, it's James. That'll wind up being a 50-yard punt, though they do get 10 back on the return. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that Football. On third down, Barkley. Yeah, this will be a Giants first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37. Shepard will go in motion right. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 43. They'll run it again with Barkley. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Spot, spot, spot. No, no, no. 
This is Barkley. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. 139 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Now a give coming right is Breida. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Matt Breida, 26 yards. And the Giants have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. Extra point try, good by Godot. And they will take a seven point lead. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. The pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. But they need their best drive of the game right here. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Well, definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. On first down, Mahomes. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. Well, he was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. To throw, it's Mahomes. He's got Smith-Schuster. Haven't heard much from him all night, but welcome to the party, making his presence felt in a big way. They've kept him under wraps all night long, but boy, did he find a great time to bust out. Mahomes will throw. And this nearly intercepted. Probably should have been. Had he caught it, it would have sealed it. Instead, one more chance coming up on fourth down. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, Let's think along with their offensive coordinator now has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Giants are going to take over in great field position. On the run, it's Barkley. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Brought down by Willie Gay. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run.
Running again with Barkley on second down. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. They'll go to Barkley again, and he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as he'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And that will extend their lead even further. So barring something extraordinary here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Yeah, we've got to find two scores. So, you know, we're not going to exactly move it over there yet. It can be done. But, boy, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for them, isn't it? Yeah, they would have to move incredibly quick and have some luck, too. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again. But they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly. Then they'll take it from there. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he'll get him a first down up past the 40 as the clock ticks on. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Give him nine on the carry that time. And they're set up with a second and one. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Mahomes. Escaping the pressure right. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. Well, that second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out in my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half of the lead. Losing the game is one thing. Getting shut out in the second half, that's a surprise. For Charles Davis and all our crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. From MetLife Stadium, good night, everybody.